My name is Ian, I'm 13 years old, and I live in Cache Valley. I'm an avid scout as a part of Troop 1, which is the oldest scout troop west of the Mississippi River. And as you may have guessed, I love to explore nature and I'm interested in our environment. In addition, my father is a passionate fly fisherman and can usually be found on the Logan River. This river is a vital part of Cache Valley and the surrounding area, and here's why. The Logan River is about 54 miles long. It starts in the Bear River Mountains in Idaho, then goes southwest through Logan Canyon. There are a few dams in this canyon that some of us Loganites call First, Second, and Third Dam. Throughout the year, you can find people recreating at one of these dams like fishing, boating, and hiking all along the paths they follow. As it travels down the canyon, water from its tributaries like Beaver Creek, Temple Fork, and Right Hand Fork join with the Logan River, turning a mountain stream into the river we know. As it continues into the city of Logan, it meets the Blacksmith Fork near Cutler Reservoir. Then eventually, it ends joining into the Bear River. In fact, it is the largest volume of water to enter the Bear River Basin. Preserving the quality of the water is important for me, my family, and the entire Cache Valley community. Our river supports diverse land types like marshes, grasslands, and shrublands. The beavers, aquatic life, and birds all depend on this land for their survival. Now about the fish. The cold water tributaries from our mountain make excellent habitat for brown trout, brook trout, rainbow trout, and most importantly, native Bonneville cutthroat trout. My focus is the Bonneville cutthroat. This trout has quite a history and it migrated here from the Snake and Columbia rivers thousands of years ago. Currently, we have the largest wild and natural population of the Bonneville cutthroat. The brown trout is an invasive species, however, that tolerates warmer and dirtier water better than the cutthroat do. So if the water quality of the Logan River is allowed to degrade and water temperatures increase, then the largest remaining population of Bonneville cutthroat trout may no longer exist. As Cache Valley continues to grow, we should all be interested in preserving and protecting this valuable, unique resource that supports drinking water, irrigation, recreation, power, wildlife, and is a huge part of what makes Cache Valley such a special place to live. The river and the fish cannot speak for themselves, and I want their voice to be heard.